Parnasa. Lurid and intimate moments between a married former prime minister, Mikhail Kasyanov, and his political assistant and lover, Natalie Pilevina. Unknowing stars in a 40-minute special on Russian TV. Today, Pilevina spoke for the first time about what she says is a smear campaign. Well, it had to be Putin. I have no doubt about that. Just the, the unthinkable awfulness of it. Um, it really tells me that not only did he did this time just go after Kasyanov, the goal was to destroy him. Today, the day of remembering Boris Nemtsov. Kasyanov has become a familiar anti-Kremlin figure since being sacked from Putin's government in 2004. Over the last few months, he'd become increasingly targeted, put in a sniper's crosshairs online and hide in the face by unknown assailants. To be in the opposition, it's like being at war. Opposition right now. A month ago, he told us the establishment considered him enemy number one. Pro-Putin's special teams following us everywhere and uh, uh, trying to, to, to create a further pressure on me and my family. Which makes it doubly hard to fathom why the two illicit lovers wouldn't expect to be caught. Why would you risk it? We really underestimated how far they are willing to go. The whole tawdry affair has all the hallmarks of a political hit, but it is deeply damaging to a weak and divided opposition under pressure just five months before parliamentary elections. Dmitry Nikrasov is a candidate. In my opinion, the most damaging information is not uh, the f fact of some sexual affairs of Mr. Kasyanov, but, uh, but the fact of using uh, of state uh, power, uh, state uh, secret services against the opposition. Their affair was reckless, but it wasn't illegal. Mikhail was and is married. Yes, it's wrong. We weren't able to, to end the relationship. As salacious as this is, Russians are used to political smut liberally spread, especially against a weakened opposition. In Russia, there are a lot of um, damaging information uh, regarding uh, all uh, politicians. Kasyanov has not resurfaced yet to explain himself. Pelevina is considering her political options. Is it over now? Yes. Yes, it's over now. Susan Ormiston, CBC News, Moscow.